Most likely the horses came here in 1915, the first time, with the First World War, because the South African troops were camped at Gorup where they pumped water for the steam trains, and the German troops bombarded the, the South African camps, and a lot of the horses were scattered. And then there was a stud farm at Kubup, which is 20 kilometers from here, there in the mountain. The owner of the stud farm, Emil Kreplin, who was also the mayor of Ludritz, had to leave Ludritz in 1920. He lost all his assets in the post-war depression and um, he couldn't pay anybody to look after the horses and they were left on Kubup. And during those times there were no fences and uh, it is likely that those horses left on Kubu plus the horses that were left from the South African troops came together following rain patterns. Well, the population is 165 at the moment and I would say about 120 to 140 is actually eating the supplement. We're not providing a full meal at this point in time. But I think we the fact that we started early was a good thing and we act, and I think we did save some mortalities at least. The Namibia Wild Horses Foundation was um, founded in 2012 uh, by a group of people who cares about the horses and are interested to preserve the population because of the unique genetic material that's that's here in the area. If it doesn't rain in the next six months, if it doesn't rain this winter, it will get to a point where we will have to increase the amount of food that we're supplying to them. We most likely will have to increase to a half to three quarters of what they actually need, which is double what we're feeding at the moment. And that that will cost quite a bit more and it will also be logistically quite difficult. People can help by donating good quality grass, that helps a lot uh, as this load that we got. And then those who don't have grass available or anything, they can donate um, money, funds, that we can buy good quality grass. The whole of Namibia is pretty dry, so a lot of the farmers that usually cut grass is not cutting this year. And we may have to, if it gets to that point, have to um, get our grass from South Africa, which, yeah, would be costly. Mm -hmm.